All right, today we are going over my first PSA reveal as well as a review of DT Sports Cards. Before we get too deep into it, I will point out I am not an affiliate of either PSA or DT Sports Cards. DT Sports Cards is the broker that I chose to go through, uh, made the process much easier for uh, me being the first time. It's also a lot cheaper. So, and we'll go over all the, the pricing at the end. Most importantly, what people usually want to uh, know right off the bat is how long did it take? So if you are one of those people that are wondering, it was 43 calendar days from the day I brought it to the post office to the day it was dropped off on my doorstep, which is today. So that should give you some idea of what's going on. Uh, when you ship through DT, and again, we'll go over this later, but I just want to point out they ship uh, every Tuesday. So you might be thinking, well, that's going to slow the whole process down. But again, PSA estimates a 45 business day turnaround by going through DT. I got it in 43 calendar days. Uh, I believe he's part of the, the special club and I don't know for sure, but I would be guessing that they get preferential treatment when it comes to speed. So first card, we got Paulie Skeens, generational talent, <laughs> 10, nice. Hopefully Paul can help me uh, pay off some of my student loans soon. Another Paul Skeens, transformational talent, nine. All right. And as I was putting these in, again, just like with uh, SGC and TAG, this was my first time doing it, so I was guessing at what they were looking at. I think I guessed quite well on, on some of these. Another Skeens transformative, another 10. Nice. Is he going to get his perfect game this year? I think so. Clay, also every year, I think Clay's going to get a perfect seat, a perfect game. Don't talk to me about the playoffs. Nine, but what a pretty card anyway. That is really nice. I saw that, I picked that up off of eBay, I think, maybe Auction Ninja, but it just jumped right out at me, which is, you know, something to be said about taking good pictures. Sometimes I see just junk pictures on eBay listings and people will still bid, but when you have a, a picture that pops right off the bat, you're going to make your money. So keep that in mind if you're new to eBay. MJ, this one uh, was from Auction Ninja. I got a plug on Auction Ninja who sends very, very high quality cards. I'm not sure where they're sourcing them from. And I'm also not going to tell you who it is. Vlad Jr., 10. Nice. Just a base. Again, like I said, I didn't really know what, uh, what I was doing, but it's a nice card and I needed some practice. So that's that. Also worth noting... So I was very nervous about this because uh, my buddy, not really, I don't know him, but somebody I watch on YouTube, Junk Wax Hero, recently made a video about these little plastic hangers that were showing. Well, they look like little pieces of plastic. PSA is saying that's just an optical illusion that you can't see it from the side. At any rate, none of mine have that. And I was nervous about that. He made that video like two or three days ago, and I was concerned that my batch might have been in that another vlad jr another base card i'll probably lot those up if you're a toronto or vlad jr fan or maybe i'll hold on to him who knows yamamoto just went out i think what they said it was tricep injury tricep not sept and shohei and that's another 10 so right off the bat i'm doing much better with psa than i did with sgc or tag also worth pointing out SGC just got me two batches today. One was sent, I think, 11 days ago. The other one was sent like nine days ago, or maybe 14 and nine, something like that. I missed the post office guy because I was at the post office. So I'm annoyed about that. There's a Shohei 10. What's up? I'll always go looking for show any, any Shohei card. I'm a Dodger fan, but that's not why. I was on the Shohei train in Anaheim. I went my only Anaheim game in 2018. Actually, Vlad, they were retiring his number, I think, or they, they gave him some kind of special uh, ceremony. I think he had just got in, inducted into the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. So Anaheim put on a nice show for him. My buddy and I went down there. I'll put up some pictures of that. That was really cool. We also got Vlad uh, bobblehead, which is cool. Oh, nice. Very nice. Bomb squad. What do you think about the Don Russ, the, the whole Panini and Leaf? It annoys me that Major League Baseball won't make it more competitive and just grant everybody a license. It's even more annoying, I suppose, that you even need a license. I don't know. 
We'll complain about that later, Paulie. Paulie, what's up? And if there has ever been more motivation to just get really good at something and forget about your looks, it's Paul Skeens. No, I'm just messing with you, but I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying. All right, next, another Paulie and another 10. Paulie Bass. Maybe one of these bass, if I can reach out to, uh, what's his name, Jab's family, right? That's his name. He's a big Skeens fan. How can you not be? It's also worth noting, I sent all these up uh, four days before Skeens got the call up. I got a connection at the airport, and that's how I knew that was going to happen. Another bass, another 10. It's looking good. I'm really pumped right now. Another bass, Pauly, another 10. Hopefully these don't come to bite me in the uh, the backside. I don't know. I, I doubt they will. I mean, even if I just hold on to them, I like the guy. Another base, another 10. Now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have sent so, much, so many base cards. I can't remember how many more are going to be in here. At least two. Another 10. I wonder if they even looked at them or they just know that I'm good at picking stuff out. They saw my name and they're like, oh, dude, if Uncle Kevin's in the house, just 10 it all up. That is an impressive gem rate for a first time. Another base. Another Tenzo. Uh, so, obviously, if you're looking for any base tens, you can hit me up. Uh, I'll be putting these on Kelm.net. I'll also be putting some on YouTube on uh, eBay. I'm dealing with an eBay situation right now. There's a nine. Maybe we'll do a giveaway with nine. Oh, and another base. I could have swore I put some more inserts. Next batch. But another ten. So, let's go through that. Fifteen out of twenty. Quick math, was that 75%? Quick math, I think it's 75%. That's all I'm doing for now. Uh, but it's not all we're doing on the video. If you want to stick around, if you want to learn more about DT Sports Cards and my review of them, which, long story short, I strongly recommend. Uh, the entire way through, I was kept abreast with updates on where my cards were in the process. Uh, when it was time to pay, David reached out to me and said, hey, this is what you owe. I, I guess, I mean, he didn't put this in, but I, I was kind of hoping that they would have said, hey, one of these cards is worth a lot more than you estimated, but we'll give it some time. So yeah, he, and he gives all kinds of different payment options, PayPal, Venmo. I can't remember the rest. I, I just go with PayPal. You pay a couple extra dollars more. I've always liked PayPal's protection, both inbound and outbound. So that's what I do. Uh, I'm going to put his prices up so everybody can see them. Maybe I'll just put a screenshot. Yeah, in fact, let's do that. If this is your first time on the channel, this is pretty much how every video, regardless of the subject matter, I'm all over the place. Flummoxed. So yeah, with his grading, there's a special right now for $14 Pokemon 50-day turnaround. I'm not a TCG or TGC, whichever order of letters that is. I'm not one of those guys. I'm a sports card guy. I might, when my nephew is starting to try to figure out what he wants to do with his Pokemon cards. He's graduating high school on Friday. So we might be doing that. I'll probably help him out with that. But other than that, this was 43 calendar days. So you can do the math on that if you want. It's probably, I don't know, 35, 30, somewhere in there, uh, business days. I don't like counting business days. I work every day for me, right? Uh, moving on, he also does provide the higher levels just like PSA does if you want it a faster turnaround if you have higher value cards obviously that's going to be useful to you to use the higher the faster turnaround and like i said as, oh and he also uh offers card prep i did not i had to think about that cuz i did with tag i did not go with card prep on this time and as you can see it probably didn't really hurt much i mean maybe these 5 well not the jordan since that's an 8 so there was no way that was going to get up to a 10 Maybe I could have bumped some of these up. There is uh, now I do see there is a scratch in the top left of that skeins. But either way, he also provides a pretty neat service where let's say you say, I want all my cards to be nines or better, or just don't send them out. He will look over and obviously he's not PSA, but clearly knows what he's doing. So he'll look over and say, okay, I think that'll get a nine or a 10. I think that'll get a nine or a 10 think, think, uh, mm, probably not going to get a nine or a 10 and send that one back. Save you some money if that's your thing. And I think, I mean, that's probably an invaluable service to, I'm mean, not trying to make a joke. If your eyesight's not great, 
mine is. I can read the bottom of the line at the DMV. Those posters are usually made somewhere in Knoxville and I, or somewhere in Tennessee. I don't think it's specifically Knoxville, but I'll read off the zip code and it always makes the person laugh. Like, yeah, we're wasting our time right now going through this whole rigmarole. So anyway, there's a cool story about me and the nonsense that I talk about when I'm shooting videos. I'll put a link to DT sports cards down below. It's just dtsportscards.com, but that way you could just link without having to type all the letters. And again, I want to stress, I don't know him. This was my first interaction with him. Same as PSA. I get nothing in exchange, but I feel like, uh, where we are in our world, it's better to offer an honest opinion than it is to have a paid opinion. Because how do you trust anything? You can go on Amazon right now and see products with 10,000 reviews. You get it in your mail or dropped off on your front porch and it's just straight trash. And you think, how did this happen? Because people are being paid to leave reviews. I'm not paid to do anything. If DT sports cards sucked or if I didn't like the way he treated me or wasn't, you know, anything. And let me point that out. Also, the shipping from PSA was probably good enough just to put that box and ship it. But he put three levels of protection on the D, uh, the PSA box. So he clearly values our business, wants our business and wants to keep going. And that I will always take my time to point out people doing that stuff because it's easy to find the inverse or it's very hard to find an honest review because every review starts out with link in the description. Oh, I'm going to get a 10% kickback. Now, even if he offers me a kickback, I'm not taking it. That's not how I roll. So that's that. DT Sports Cards, PSA, shout out to both. Thank you, PSA. And a big thank you to DT Sports Cards. I probably would not have sent these in so soon if I didn't stumble upon his, uh, I think it was a Twitter, not an ad. Maybe just somebody mentioned it on Twitter. Again, if you're on Twitter, temporarily known as X, and you're not following a bunch of sports cards people, I would highly recommend you do that. Even if you're not collecting we all have a similar love of baseball and, you know, sports in general. Sometimes you'll get the bad seeds, but it's far, far fewer than any other niche that I've seen. Uh, when I used to follow a lot of video game people, obviously the retro people, well, we're usually a little bit more chill. You'll still find the jerks. Newer video games, 50% jerks. It's just what it is. So baseball Twitter, baseball collecting Twitter, the hobby, I think is what they call hobby Twitter. I'm not cool enough to know all this stuff. Either way, I've rambled on now an extra few minutes. I'm going to try to chop most of this out, some of it or none of it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything you saw today, please be sure to leave those comments down below and give me some time to respond. I used to get email notifications when people would drop a comment. YouTube stopped doing that last week, and it sucks because I always forget to go look at my dashboard but I like to respond to people. I, I appreciate it. You know, it's the same thing. You can say, I don't have a lot of subscribers, small community, but a community nonetheless. So if you feel like you're being ignored, you're not, it's just a function of me not getting no my notifications and uh, forgetting to look. So that's that. Also drop a, uh, a joke down in a comment. Those are usually my favorite. We've had a couple good ones so far, usually more on the truck videos. I'm not going to lie. People who work on their truck in their driveway tend to have a better sense of humor when it comes to most things, but I still love the baseball people. Anyway, let me know. I've had fun doing this. I hope you did as well. And I will talk at you soon. Oh, it, it, I mean, come on. How many times do I have to say, if you're still watching, we know you still are. There's going to be a comparison between SGC and tag a straight head to head. I've been working on it, doing the research since I got both of those back. And in that time, I decided, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a real comparison. So I sent three or four identical cards off to each. Hopefully I get at least one or two that are graded exactly the same. And then I will start and finish those at an auction on eBay, like a Sunday nine uh, Eastern end time. So we can see the exact comparative value. I think that will be more valuable than anything else. And we'll, yeah, we'll go over. I was going to show you my notes, stick around. All right, that's going to do it. I will talk at you next time. Peace.